this video, we will be installing Elasticsearch as well as Kibana in our Ubuntu system. Here is the documentation and it's really simple. We only have to follow it step by step. All right, so the first thing we need to do is add the Elasticsearch PGP keys. So this is necessary because when we actually get the Elasticsearch package, we want to be sure that we are getting the right package and that will be verified by means of this key. Otherwise, someone could give us any random package in the name of Elasticsearch and it could be malwares or spywares. So you need to be careful of that. I will simply run this command. It says OK that the key has been added. Next, we uh, okay. it wants us to install a certain package called APT Transport HTTPS. So let's install this, although I think so, I would already be having it. Um, excuse me for that. Um, yeah, although I might already be having it, but yeah, okay. So I already had the package. Next, let's add the sources from which we can find Elasticsearch components. This keeps happening. Okay, um, yeah. And the sources have been added. All right, next we simply have to do sudo apt get update. The updates completed and now we have to simply say sudo apt install elastic search. Hit enter. All right, so it says that Elasticsearch is already in the newest version. That's because I had installed it already because it was a 350 MB file and it would just take too long if I installed it while recording. So I had done it previously. So it says that Elasticsearch is already at the newest version. Okay, so I will simply maximize my terminal and to start Elasticsearch, I will say sudo system ct l enable elastic search okay uh, so it seems that the elastic search service is running to verify that i am simply going to hit a curl on localhost 9200 hmm perhaps uh, apart from Enable, I need to also run start Elasticsearch. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, what happens when I curl localhost now? All right then, our Elasticsearch is up and running. So while Elasticsearch is installed, we would also need to install Kibana. So let me simply say sudo apt install Kibana and again it pulls in 302 mb for me so i will see you guys at the other end of this installation and here we can see that kibana is finally installed and look at the amount of time it took even on a fast internet connection but i guess that's okay let me clear my screen and let me simply say sudo system ctl start Kibana asks for my password and I give it and let me also say enable Kibana. Okay, let's quickly see the status of Kibana. Okay, Kibana is up and running. And now if I head on to my browser and simply say localhost 5601 i should be able to access kibana within my browser and it says loading let's head on over to our console and maybe let's just um, say uh, get slash and we can see that kibana is able to connect to elasticsearch so is it working on your machine? Yes or no? Do tell me in the comments below.
And if you found this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. If you find the content of my channel helpful, please click subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new updates. Like always, thanks a lot for watching.